he's gonna go that way if I turn him. was on the door and I was trying to water him and then he was like stretching his body out. <laughs> You're the cutest little thing. waiting for the eco earth to come in the mail for the bottom little zims and you and your little coconut nut spies you've started loving this coconut first i thought you weren't gonna like it now you seem to never leave it i do want to get another plant to put over here though because i feel like there's too much open space but other than that i'm really in love with the fact that i have a door into my terrarium at all times. That's really nice. So I just got the Eco Earth, and they were not lying. This is a really big bag. If it's under 20 bucks. It'll probably last me a while. Zim's new hiding spot is underneath this little plant because now the leaves hang over. So you just chew in your little bowl now. He's so cute. Hey Zim. If I had gotten the video like two seconds ago, I would have showed Zim hanging upside down. I don't know if you want to come out or not, but you're getting your cage cleaned and your dirt put in today. So you'd be happy about that. Yeah, tell me your gecko's mad without telling me your gecko's mad. 
Zim's kind of salty that I took it out of its terrarium to put the dirt in and clean it. I'm sorry, bub, but I have to do it for you. You can't have a dirty cage. <laughs> You've been so stubborn the last few days. So normally I just throw all of the plants into like, not hot water, not cold water, kind of like my water temperature water. I guess it doesn't matter. I just do it this way so that, you know, the terrarium isn't gonna have, if I can't get all the water off, like hot water on it or something. Just kind of push it around a little bit, let it clean itself some. And then for the other stuff, I'm gonna be using the terrarium cleaner that I have. And usually I just dump a little bit and then take the scrubby off and clean it that way because it's easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna start cleaning some stuff and yeah. And then for the terrarium, I usually just put some of this and since I'm not doing a deep cleaning today, I'm just gonna put a little bit on some paper towels and then um, wipe it off with some like water or whatever. And I only use the water from the spray bottle that I do its uh, food with because again, we are not trusting water from the fountain or sinks or whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to put this in. Just squirt it around the bottom of the floor and I'll be back. And now we have the cocoa fiber down and now I can put the terraria back together. Alright Zim, you want to go back in your cage now? Okay, let's see. Oh! You go in. Do you want to go in your cage? There you go. See what you think of your new home. We got the dirt down there now. And you got your whole setup. I just gotta put your thermostat back in for your humidity and your temperature. Well, Zim is back there drinking some water off the, the walls, so I think we're gonna end the video there. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys probably in a week, maybe less, with a new video.